All right, there is another crazy blizzard blowing out there. About a year ago in February, I did a Banjo Blitz video and it was during this fierce blizzard. And here we are again, almost a year later with the snow just coming down in sheets. It's total whiteout conditions. Hopefully my power doesn't go out. So I'm going to try to keep this lesson fairly short. And uh, we're simply building on last week's lesson anyway. It's an incremental change to last week's pattern so we can, we can keep this pretty short. Uh, one quick shout out to my buddy John Anderson who I have been playing with for about 16 years now. He and I did that album together called Sinful to Flirt. He has a new bowing pattern video out where he attaches a light to his bow. He calls it bowing lights. It's so super cool. I'm going to link it below so you guys can check it out. If you know any fiddlers or if you're a banjo player who plays with another fiddler who wants a little light shed on the bowing, pun intended, check out John's video. It is, uh, it's linked below. Okay, let's get into this pattern this week. It's pretty simple if you did the work for last week. So I'm going to play last week's pattern and then I'm going to play the new pattern. Last week's pattern was a thumb lead pattern. We're going to add a second thumb stroke this time. So we're going to kind of bounce on that open third string with our thumb and the change sounds like this. All right, let's play that a little faster and then we'll unpack what's going on here. Faster. And even faster. All right, some things to be thinking about. Using your deep listening skills, make sure for now that all of your notes sound relatively the same in terms of volume. We're going to change that radically with a technique that I don't think anybody has talked about before. We're gonna dive into that in a couple lessons. You're gonna to have to be patient. Get this under your belt first. It will be worth it. It'll give you a big leg up on the technique that's coming at you that I think you guys are really gonna dig. If you bear down too hard with the thumb, you're gonna blow the note sharp and it's gonna sound kinda of ugly. And uh, so we're trying to keep these consistent. We're trying to keep these all the same, all relatively the same. Now, if we wanna make this even more difficult, we can ride that third string, the open third, with a thumb so, it, so we're doing even more of a repetitive stroke. It sounds like this. That's a great one if you really want to dial in the finesse of your right hand, especially thinking about the thumb. Make sure that every time you throw your hand down into the banjo, regardless of whether you are hitting a string on the downstroke or missing one with the M skip technique, that your thumb is coming into full contact with a string simultaneous to the downstroke. That is the golden rule. That's what we've got to work with. That's going to help you keep your tempo, your phrasing, and that eighth note pattern in check. If you don't have that constant referencing of a string on the downstroke with your thumb, your timing is going to get off, especially at the faster tempo. So it's just something you want to bear in mind as you're exploring this technique. All right, I've gotten a lot of uh, great emails, especially about the thumb lead technique. It's, it's really cool to hear you guys working through this. There are a couple people who have written to me and said that they are working on a video dealing with Banjo Blitz. And so remember my challenge for the month of January 2018. If you can put up a video of yourself playing through any one of the Banjo Blitz exercises at various tempos, I will watch the video and I'll give you my feedback on your playing. It's like getting a free demo lesson with me. Okay, I hope you enjoy the snow. I hope you enjoy the cold. I sure am. I'm going to go down and get a fire going now. And I will see you next week on Banjo Blitz.